What's up guys? Back with another video and wait a minute, that's the educational series. What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It is what the fitness time. I feel like I just tried to like combine several different intros into one. What the f So this week we have the gift that keeps on giving Dr. Joel Seedman and apparently he found his PhD in a cereal box because some of the stuff he promotes, actually 90% of the stuff he promotes is insanity, just, just insane. But let's take out the parts where he has people doing two and three exercises combined together in some kind of like master fuckery. Let's take out the parts where he says that, you know, partial range of motion is superior to full range of motion for pretty much everything. It's not. And let's just check out this latest claim he has. So this is a video of NFL athlete Jalen Strong. I wish I had that last name. That'd be cool. Thanks mom and dad. Here is NFL free agent. Doesn't that mean like unemployed if you're not currently playing? Jalen Strong on the single leg sprinter curls, whatever the heck that is. This is one of the dozens of exercises we used in the previous six weeks to help him gain 17 pounds of muscle. Run it back. <laughs> This is one of the dozens of exercises we used over the previous six weeks to help him gain 17 pounds of muscle. I'm gonna come back to that. We're not done with the fuckery yet. We used lots of 90 degree eccentric isometrics, which is the single most effective training method I know of, not just for bulletproofing the joints and boosting athletic performance, but also gaining functional muscle mass and strength. Somebody please explain to me the difference between functional muscle mass and strength and non-functional muscle mass and strength. I would love to hear it. Also, eccentric isometrics. So for those of you not familiar, the eccentric portion of a lift is the lengthening phase. So if I'm doing a dumbbell curl, the lengthening portion where I'm lowering the weight is the eccentric movement, lowering. Isometric is a contraction where no movement takes place. So if I were to go and just hold this arm like this, by the way, it's my better bicep, so we'll do that one. If I was just to hold that right there, that is an isometric. You cannot do movement and non-movement at the same time. So there is no such thing as eccentric isometrics. But I digress. There is a glorious claim in all this. 17 pounds of muscle in six weeks. Not lean body mass, not fat-free mass, muscle. No. Eh, let's try it again. No. Now he says in here, well, he's, he was coming back from not his previous best. No. No. Mm -mm. No, never happened, no. Oh, and he also says that this was drug free. Let's actually look at studies where they give high doses of steroids and see how much, not muscle, but just lean body mass people can gain. There was a study where they gave high dose testosterone over 10 weeks, again, 17 pounds of muscle in six weeks. They gave high dose testosterone to untrained men over 10 weeks. So these are people who are gonna take advantage of newbie gains, the whole shebang, and they saw an increase of about six kilograms of lean body mass. Not muscle mass, lean body mass. And there's a big important distinction. Muscle mass is not the same thing as lean body mass. Muscle mass is part of lean body mass, but lean body mass includes all non-fat tissues, organs, water weight, glycogen, and skeletal muscle. The lean body mass you gain is never 100% muscle. In people getting high doses of steroids who were untrained, they gained about half to two thirds of what Joel is claiming in an elite athlete drug free. Oh, by the way, we're not even comparing apples to apples because the people on steroids would have gained less muscle than the amount of lean body mass that was reported. They didn't report how much muscle it was. And so, no, I'm sorry, Joel. No, 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 no. How do you say no in different languages? Nine, net, no, it didn't happen. It did not happen. Now, what might have happened is you might have weighed him in, fasted, first day you started the training program, and then he gained 17 pounds during that time because he's retraining himself and you weigh him at the end of the day after he drank a crap load of water and ate a bunch of food. And I said, oh, look at that, 17 pounds, which I still fucking 
doubt, but it would be possible. But when you say he gained 17 pounds of muscle, no. Oh no, God! No, 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 no. No, God, please, no, no! No, 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 no! Yes, how many no's does it take? No, 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 bad, Joel, bad. You have a PhD. I don't know how, but you have one. Please try to act like it. And don't start with me, the people saying, well, he's just got to make a living, man. You can make a living without saying absolute fucking crazy stuff. Nobody is gaining 17 pounds of muscle in six weeks. In fact, the maximum amount of amino acids that you can deposit in skeletal muscle per day is about 10 grams, okay? Let's just say Joel unlocked the secrets to muscle hypertrophy that allowed him to triple what has been shown in the literature and deposit 30 grams of amino acids per day in muscle. Over six weeks is 42 days. That is 1.26 kilograms in 42 days. When you consider that muscle is two thirds water, that pumps up the total weight to about 3.8 kilograms or about eight pounds. So if we triple the amount of amino acids shown to be able to be deposited in muscle, triple, it still gets you half of what Joel is claiming. I hope I am expressing just how insane this claim is. It's not cool. It is blatant fucking nonsense. No, no. So Joel, you have been a nice person when we've interacted. I don't really care. This is insanity. You have a PhD. For God's sakes, man, stop embarrassing the university that you came from. I promise you that if I made claims like this, my advisor would come through the wall out of nowhere oh, yeah. and just put my PhD right off the wall and say, no, no. So Joel, I really, really, really hope that you will go and change your ways and just Hey, you can promote stuff that isn't even evidence-based. Cool. Say, hey, I do, you know, partial reps because it works for me, bro. Fine. Cool. Stop making these bullshit claims about people putting on 17 pounds of muscle in six weeks. Oh, oh by the way, I didn't even, I totally left out the part where this is an elite athlete, probably near their genetic maximum in terms of muscle mass. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm so, no. And that's the end. Bye, guys.